1984 Nissan Silvia S12 Turbo. This one seems to be lovely and original. No, uh, no modifications that I can tell with the exception it, it does have a, a Scorpion back box on it. This one's just had a fortune spent on it um, at Retro Japanese Specialist, the GTR Heritage Center. We'll detail what we know about that in the description, um, as well as what we've got in the way of receipts and things like that. Um, but I do know it's had diffs rebuilt, the original turbo rebuilt, ignition system work done um, with a nice tasty build to go with it. Let's start by having a look at the bodywork. As you can see, it's this lovely bright red color. It is all one shade of red. If we just quickly skip around the whole car, you can see door on the quarter, quarter on the roof, boot lid panel, rear bumper, all the same color, rear quarter on the passenger side. We'll shut this door properly so you can have a better look at it. Obviously you can see the, the door onto the quarter and onto the uh, front wing, all the same shade of red. It's not had any dodgy paintwork. It's not been parked sort of half hanging in out of the sun or a garage with a window or anything like that. If we look down this driver's side, you can see it's lovely and straight all the way down there. It's not full of filler or anything like that. This front nose cone area, that's all lovely and tidy around there. The lower half, all this plastic trim sits lovely all the way down. It doesn't sort of peel out at the front or anything like that. It's not dried out or covered in back to black or anything at all. Really, really good. That whole front wing, lovely and tidy all the way along. Around the indicator is nice. This plastic section again, lovely and tidy. Inside the arch, you can see, really nice and clean all the way around the arch. The lip itself is sharp all the way around. And then inside that arch, I know it is dark, but you can just see it. Beautiful, lovely and clean, no sign of any dirt. Obviously been really well cared for. And then you've got the original spec wheels uh, with, I believe, matching Yokohamas all around, but we will double check. Centre caps there as well, which is nice. Moving down this driver's side, we're gonna have a look along the sill. Apart from a little bit of dirt that we've missed. Really nice and straight all the way down there. If I have a good look underneath the car, you can see it's obviously not been out on the salty roads or anything like that. The owner did specifically wait for a nice dry day to bring it along to us. Lovely and clean on that driver's door. Got a couple of little marks on the uh, the black round the handle, uh, but that is me being particularly picky. A tiny little sort of ding or a stone. It's almost like a stone's pinged off it on the motorway or something. On the uh, mirror cover, correct original Nissan printed covers. Coming up this A pillar, it's all nice and tidy. And along this top section of the door, the roof itself, lovely and straight. You've got one little mark just here where the lacquer's just sort of chipped ever so slightly. I would almost venture that this might be original paint. I wouldn't know for sure, but it's entirely possible that it could be. Correct stamped glass all around as well. I see you pop out rear windows. This car couldn't get much more 80s if it tried. Turbo, pop out rear windows, pop up headlights. What more could you possibly want? Rear arch again, lovely and sharp all the way around. Nice and clean in there again. Another good wheel with the Yokohama tire. The arch itself, nice and tidy. You've got a little mark in the paint just there uh, and a little chip in, in the lacquer on the piece of uh, sort of the indent, indented section. All nice and clean around the filler cap. The rear bumper sits nice and straight against the panel itself. And then as you come round, you've got this lovely large Rear light section, again, clean and clear. No sign of any cracks or moisture in those. Lower half of the bumper, that's all good. We can get a look underneath from there as well. You can see underneath, lovely and clean. Eight these Japanese cars tend to be a bit rust prone, if you like, but obviously, as you can see, this one's been well cared for. Like I said earlier on, it does have a Scorpion back box on there as well, which does sound quite good as well, to be fair. Rear spoiler, that's nice and tidy. It's not dried out or cracked or anything like that. It's not been used to open and close the boot too much. There's no sign of any damage on it. And where it meets the bodywork, that's all good. The stamp on the rear glass. Heated rear screen, obviously. On the top of that section's all nice and tidy all the way along. Coming down, this pillar's clean as well. And then if we look down the passenger side, you'll see lovely and straight all the way down. Not full of filler, not full of ripples or anything like that. Around this section's tidy. And again, on this side, the bumper meets the rear quarter nice and neatly. This arch, lovely and sharp all the way around, nice and clean on the front. 
And again, you can see in there, lovely and clean. Another good matching Yokohama. And another nice tidy wheel. Glass on this side, that's all stamped up as well. Have we got a stamp on the front there? No, but we do have Nissan stamps all over it. Uh, and an old school security sticker, that's a nice touch. Lovely and clean on that rear quarter. And then the sill on this side, much the same as the other side. Really nice and tidy. It's not covered in under seal underneath or any wax oil or anything like that, hiding whatever's going on. That's really nice and tidy under there. Really, really good. Got a little mark on the passenger door where it's been open on something. It hasn't dented anything, it's just a little mark. It might actually polish off to be fair. And a couple of little marks around the handle, sort of cover. Coming further forward. Nice and tidy down there. The door gap, all the panel gaps all around are really good. All the plastics on this side are nice and tidy. That arch, lovely and sharp all the way around. The way the light is, you can get a better look inside there as well. You can see just how clean it is in that arch. Even the suspension setup is really good. And then your final matching Yokohama. A nice, clean, tidy tyre. Uh, wheel, sorry. A pillar, that's all good on this side. Got a little bit of delamination across the top of the screen there. Again, you can have another look at the roof. Nice and straight, it's not like a golf ball or anything like that. Coming around on the front. So you've got your pop-up headlights, which we'll show you in a second. The front bumper sits nice and straight. All the lights are clean and clear. No cracks or any moisture in those. And the lower half of the bumper, lovely and tidy. There's no signs of it being rammed up, any curves or anything like that. And you can have a good look from underneath. You can see just how clean this thing is underneath. We're going to be really picky. This arm bar just faded ever so slightly um, from a sponge running over it. And then the bonnet itself. Lovely and straight, just like the roof. No sign of any golf balls or anything like that. Really, really good. Uh, and again, just to show you those pop up headlights on a switch. Hit the button, they fire up nice and quickly. Come up evenly as well. Sometimes on, on some of these ones, they can sort of go a bit wonky on one side or the other, but really good on those. Uh, this one does have the, uh, the headlight washers as well, which is a nice touch. And then again, if you flip that switch, Nice and even all the way down. Moving on to the interior, so you've got the orange upholstery with the black vinyl door cards. Door cards lovely and clean. All the accessories are good. Nice and tidy. The door shuts. Lovely and clean all around. We'll, uh, we'll pull the boot release and the, uh, the bonnet release while we're here. As you can see from the driver's seat, Lovely and clean. These things always look a bit dirty on camera, but it's just the sort of the light and the way these patterns affect the camera. But you can see the leading edge of the seats and the beading all the way around is lovely. Really nice and tidy. The headlight is immaculate. That black headlining, that's all nice and tidy. And then you've got original specs steering wheel with no real signs of any wear at all. This one's showing 89,000, if you can see that on the camera, 89,366 miles. You check the description, we'll detail what we know about hit service history, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then again, it's got that lovely 80s style dials. And we do have the warning lights for the passenger on this side as well, which they're all still working. Five speed manual. It does have Kenwood aftermarket stereo fitted. Um, but toys wise, we've got, like I said, we've got headlight washers, electric mirrors, light dimmers, front and uh, rear fogs, heated screens. Pretty high spec for a 80s sort of entry level coupe, I guess. Into the boot, parcel shelves there, it's all nice and tidy. It's not been drilled out for any speakers or anything like that. It's not faded. Boot holds itself up nice and happy. Underside of the tailgate, that's all good. Do with a good clean, but other than that, all tidy. Carpet set in the boot. Again, I know it's dark, but it's lovely and lovely and black. It's not faded or anything. And then underneath, if we uh, excuse the dodgy camera work, you've got another full size spare. Boot floor itself is lovely and clean. There's no sign of any wear at all on that. Or any sign of any corrosion. All your plastic covers are, are still present for the, the panels on the side. And then moving on to the passenger side. Same story as the driver's side. Lovely and clean on the door card. Door shuts are all good. And then this seat, much the same as the other side. Really good. I mean, there's no sign of any wear even on these bolsters. You'd think they'd be 
pretty tortured by now. A British car from 1984 with that kind of interior, there'd be nothing left of it. Uh, and then if we move into the back, you'll see the backs of the drivers and passenger seat lovely and clean. And that rear bench doesn't look like it's been used hardly at all. Really, really good. This side of the dash, lovely and tidy. Like I say, you've got those instrument lights here for which are all working and nice. Really, really nice condition, this thing. I mean, most of these rotted away. or well, they've been modified beyond belief, but this one, lovely and original, lovely and tidy. It's even got the uh, number plate stamp on the front windscreen as well. Don't know why I'm saying front windscreen. It's not going to be a side one, is it? It's been a long day. Right. And then under here, you've got that 1.8 litre Nissan four-cylinder turbo. Like I say, it's been to the GTR Heritage Centre. They're the people, the people to send these sort of cars to in the Northeast. Um, it's had the original turbo rebuilt. It's had a whole load of stuff gone through. If you check the description, we'll detail all that for you. It was driven here. Like I say, the owner waited for a nice clear day. Look around the strut tops and on the bulkhead. It's lovely and clean in there. Nice and original. It's not been messed with. No silly sort of gauges on the dial, uh, in, on the dash or massive turbo or silly exhaust system or anything like that. Standard suspension, all that sort of stuff. We'll, uh, we'll start it up. As you can see, it starts on the button. We've got a warning light on for the door being open. But other than that, nothing at all. Oil pressure straight up to where it should be on the right hand side there. So you've got your boost gauge and these. Lovely and smooth and quiet under there. Nothing nasty flying out the back. No blue smoke on start up or anything like that. Give it a little bit of a rev. Not going to rev it too hard because it is cold. Um, but like I say, it was driven to us. So there you have it. This and Silvia S12 Turbo. Lovely and original. If you've got any questions at all, please let us know. Of course, you can come and view the car in person. Uh, again, just let us know, we'll book you in. If you can't get to see it in person, we can send you more photos, we can send you a video, we can do video calls, whatever you might need. If you've got any questions at all, please just ask. Thank you.